dunks a basketball, push it straight down to the floor, it bounces up at the same angle it hits. You okay? You okay? Spinning things don't always work that way. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. It's our gyroscope of science. And right now, it's not spinning. If I push on it sideways, it moves sideways. If I push down on it, it moves down. But watch what happens when it starts spinning. Now it's spinning. Watch what happens when I push on it sideways. When I push sideways, it moves down. Now watch what happens when I push down on it. It moves sideways. If you push on a spinning thing, it will push back at a right angle. Now you can really see it with a flying disc. A flying disc is a spinning thing. And spinning things push back sideways at a right angle. So if you want to make it bounce off the floor, you hit it on the side. If it's spinning this way, you hit it on this side. And it will twist and go up like that. There. Now, if it's spinning the other way, then you have to hit it on the other side to make it twist and go up. See? Right up. See, when you push on a spinning thing sideways, it pushes back sideways at a right angle. Because it's a cross product of two vectors. You know, so first of all, you get the spin vector of the disc like that. Uh -huh. Then you have the torque vector of hitting yeah. the floor like that, which would be uh, like that. So oh. then you cross the spin into the torque and you get a new vector no. out this way. See, and that's the vector of it, of it nosing no. up. So, uh, anyway, it's a cross product of vectors. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, thank you for joining me on Consider the following. the less it's spinning. And the more it spins, the easier it is to control. Uh, both in how far you can throw it, or if you want to do tricks. spinning well, it's very difficult to control. going around in a circle and goes off in a straight line. That's because spinning things are always changing direction. You know, take a look at this. Here's a dot on a spinning disc. Now, if the disc is spinning this way, the dot starts out going in this direction. But a moment later, the disc is spun and the dot is going in this direction. You can tell it's changed because here's the original direction right here. Then a moment after that, the dot's going this way. And here's the original direction. See, the dot is constantly changing direction. In fact, every part of the disc is always changing direction. There's something pulling on every part of the disc all the time. Just the way the rope was pulling on the ball when I was spinning it over my head. That force that's pulling everything toward the center is called centripetal force. Centripetal force. Centripetal force. Center seeking. Seeking the middle. Centripetal force. Without centripetal force, the disc would fly apart in a cloud of dust. See, without centripetal force, spinning things wouldn't go around in a circle. No, no, they, they'd go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this is 